Welcome to Cadence Design Systems Fidelity Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use our fully integrated environment, Fidelity, in short videos of a few minutes. Today, we will discuss how to create different design choices and what they can be used for. Creating different design choices is very advantageous when you want to mesh and solve the same model, but you might want to change the position of a part or remove a part altogether. Having design choices makes the meshing and solving of different designs a matter of a few clicks. First, let's have a look at how to create different positions for parts of the domain. I have imported an engine intake manifold that contains valves. We will create different positions for these valves. In the property window of the group called valves, we can duplicate the position. You can now see multiple positions in the tree under the positions folder. Let's toggle the first one and rename it half open. We will rotate the valves by 45 degrees. Let's toggle the second position, rename it fully open. And rotate the valves by 90 degrees. We now have two valve positions that can be used for creating different design choices in the domain context. In the domain context, start by clicking on the first button on the top of the CAD tree to create a new domain. Click on the plus button and then select the assembly you want to add to the domain and close the window. For each domain, several design choices can be defined. Click on the third button on the top of the CAD tree and edit design choices. By default, one design choice is available. Select the existing design choice in the tree, go to the properties panel on the bottom left and click on duplicate. Once several design choices have been created, the active one can be toggled in the tree. To edit a design choice, select the design choice of interest and rename it if needed. Expand the tree if necessary. You can include or exclude specific parts of the geometry by checking or unchecking it in the tree. This option gives the possibility to exclude some parts of the geometry included in the domain. For example, we could have a design choice called No Volve, for which we remove the valves altogether from the geometry to mesh. You can toggle the desired position if multiple positions have been defined. For example, we could have a design choice called half open for the half open valve position. And a design choice called fully open for the fully open valve position. Finally, exit the design choices mode by clicking again on the edit design choices on the top of the CAD tree. Switching to the mesh context, create a new mesh setup and impose the mesh settings as usual. Then choose the design choice you want to mesh by expanding the tree up to the choices folder and toggling the active design. If you want to mesh a different design, all you have to do is copy paste in the mesh setup and switch into a different design choice. You can see on this cutting plane through the volume mesh that both generated meshes have the same settings but different valve positions. In the simulation context, create a new simulation and impose the CFD settings as usual. Then expand the tree to show the design choice you want to solve. By expanding the design choice, you will see all the meshes related to the active design choice in case you have more than one. If you want to solve a different design choice, simply copy paste the simulation and toggle a different design before launching the simulation. In this case, you can see that with just a few clicks, it is very easy to create different design choices and to take advantage of them to avoid imposing the mesh settings or CFD settings all over again. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button to subscribe to our channel for more upcoming content like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a great Tuesday.